Hi Taurus, it's Elle here to do your mid-August general reading. It's a message, um, it's a general message, so it may not resonate with you. If it does resonate with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It's much appreciated. Um, remember to comment below because it automatically enters you to win a free reading with me. Thank you to all of my Taurus who um, always comment, like, subscribe to the channel. It's much appreciated. All right, so let's get started. I hope that everyone's having a really good August. So it's going to be free form. Whatever comes up is what comes out. The Two of Pentacles. Somebody's juggling two of swords. Someone's juggling either two people, two jobs, two sources of income, their time, their energy. They trying to, yeah see what resonates with them emotionally on an emotional level energetically also I'm just going to take the risk here three of pentacles and decide to just build in one aspect this could be uh, in career you may even be getting recognition nine of swords the death card the star card prince of pentacles Princess of Pentacles. Um, okay, so this could be relationship. This could be job. If it's job, it's you deciding on one job. You're going to put all your eggs in that basket. It could even be self-employment. Um, because the Princess of Pentacles is here. So it's something that you're building. It's something that is a new start. A new foundational start. Now, it's just messages here. But you've got to end something. And you got to high anxiety about that you gotta ch change your focus and your shift on how you look at money uh you may look at money as if i need to have several streams of income it, it, meaning i need to have several jobs well we know to to have several jobs that would mean to divide yourself um amongst several different energies that would be low energy here stress not sleeping not getting rest you know that you need to put an ending to that. Uh, have restoration in your health and healing. And also um, wish fulfillment. And get on your path, your destiny here. And um, Because something could be really stable for you. If you focus. Alright. So that was for one set of my Taurus people. I felt like that was just career, business, whatever related. Let's see if we can get some love messages for Taurus. What are the love messages for Taurus? True, accurate messages for Taurus. That wasn't much of them. Cut further. Okay, three of swords, ace of cups. Wow, um, might be third party. Very well, may can be. It could even be divorce or separation, heartbreak, infidelity. The, the need to practice caution in relationship. It might be because there's love elsewhere. Maybe with an Aries. But sometimes this is Taurus. Also Taurus male. Um. And Taurus, it may be that you are dealing with a fire sign who is um, keeping their options open. They're passionate about everything and everybody. Yeah, you found new love here. Maybe with an Aquarius person. Someone who's highly intuitive. Um, some things that have been exposed with this person in regards to maybe a third party situation. Wow, you want to really put some work in with someone here. You're at a crossroads with maybe a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Wow, and then the high priestess. Um, it's a real spiritual bond here. Maybe with you and an Aquarius person, a Piscean person. The tower. Yeah, this right here needs to be broken down. This should be shifted. Somebody's got their guard up. 
it might be because of past situation a six of wands they may get to where she may get a lot of action a lot of admirers or vice versa your partner has a lot of admirers so your guard is up in regards to where you stand and, and what you'll accept or vice versa the princess of swords someone was found out some information they were spying it might even be harsh communication or, or lack of here king of cups cancer pisces scorpio Someone's just open and, and ready to give love. Ace of Wands. This could have been just a merely sexual encounter for this person or sexual activity. Um, yeah, someone's ready to offer their cup to whom, who they see as the Nine of Pentacles type of person. Ready for partnership. A complete and solid whole person alone. Yeah, ten of swords. Okay, so some of you are dealing with a person who just was philanthropy, just out doing whatever they wanted to do. You know, um, not taking a connection serious. It could have been merely sexual. You got your heart broke. There was disappointment here. Wow, nothing but loving messages to this person, Taurus. Either vice versa to from you, Taurus to that person or, or vice versa <laughs> I'm sorry for this set and I'm not laughing at you that this just this just needs to be an ending or a complete transformation you could be dealing with a Scorpio alright the three of cups comes up in reverse wow this person if they were out dating and you know all kinds of things or, or even a third party situation they want out of that. You know, their complete focus is on you, Taurus. Five of Cups. Yeah, heartbreak, heartache. Here, I'm going to pull one more. Um, Ace of Swords in reverse. They might, not, they might not be telling you everything. Upright, you guys can have a new start by way of communication. They might not be telling you everything, Taurus. Uh, or telling you exactly how they feel, Queen of Cups. Yeah, you got to heal. Your emotions are all over the place. If you're dealing with someone who was an outright liar, deceitful. Okay, bottom of the deck. Eight of Cups. Walk away. That's the advice here. Hangman. Definitely could be dealing with the Piscean person. Aquarius here. I saw maybe another Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Um... This person is trying to see things from a different perspective. Or you're trying to get someone to see something from a different perspective. Wait. Okay. Uh, that's what I'm hearing. You're trying to get them to wait. Maybe that's why you're not being. Either they're not being 100% truthful right now. Not in the sense of lying or holding some big crazy secret back from you. But they may be holding back a bit because. Or, by, or you could be holding back a bit towards because um, there's something in the. What did I say? There's something in the works. And then the Ace of Pentacles. They want they want to solidify this. This could be engagement. This could be moving in together. Making a large purchase together. Oh, wow. That's beautiful, Taurus. This is beautiful. Let's get some advice cards. Where are we? Eight minutes in. Advice cards. Let's just scoop these. All right. Thank you for the messages for Taurus. The messages for the Taurus Collective. This is my first time doing it like this. Just spread it out. If you guys like it, let me know. Um, where you get two perspectives and one reading. Because everybody isn't on the same perspective. So, um, let's see. Healing from the past. Yeah, you, you got to heal from this situation. And it might even be that you keep attracting the same type of person here, Taurus. Welcome the new beautiful. Oh, I want to be a Taurus. New exercise program. Um, pretty self-explanatory. If it resonates, it resonates. Seeking and finding. Yeah, chill out with that. I think somebody has something in the works for you, Taurus, or vice versa windfall okay it looks like you have a windfall of money or good luck here good fortune uh i think once you release 
join in. Uh, this could be joining in a networking group. Uh, this is joining in a body of people in person. Now you can join all kind of groups online and so forth and never meet an actual physical person. But when this join in comes up, it talks about the, the old fashioned going and getting to know people, shaking hands and smiling and kissing babies. Um, <laughs> but it talks about the, the real connection. The people are going to pull one more finances um, that could go across the board. Uh, finances are highlighted. Either they're highlighted for the better or um, highlighted for the worse. We, in the first spread, it looks like some of you are trying to um, shift your energy and just into one thing. And if you are, and if you're trying to do self-employment, join in, join in groups that um, share that same interest. Sobriety. I uh, could talk about, of course. Um, oh, okay. Of course, sobriety could talk about chemical um, imbalance. I mean, influence. Um, you know, drugs and alcohol. Uh, but it also talks about sobriety of the mind, and you can't get have sobriety of the mind if you're not resting the mind. If you're not resting well, we have the nine of swords. Um, we in the first spread uh, when you're dividing yourself um, amongst so many different things uh, then you, can, you can't have sober thinking so you might want to take heed to that and that can go across the board I hope that these messages and then I, saw, I just saw get some rest um, I hope that these messages uh, resonate with you they do like share comment subscribe to the channel um, oh let me do your yes or no spread. I've been doing this for everybody else. Okay, so whatever question you have out there. Um, the one question I've been posing to the cards is, uh, will, will Taurus have wish fulfillment? Whatever that may be for you. So the, how it works is, if the middle card is reversed, the answer is no. And then we have two supporting cards. All right, so let's get into it. Will Taurus have wish fulfillment? Will Taurus have wish fulfillment? Will Taurus have wish fulfillment? I'm going to shuffle until something drops. Okay. Okay. And it was exactly three cards, four cards. I didn't tell to put these back. Let's see. Um, will Taurus have wish fulfillment? Yes, six of wands upright. You will have victory here. Self promotion, uh, promotion, um, recognition. Could get a promotion here. Wow, and then the sun. This is so positive. And then we have the magician in reverse. Okay, uh, try not to manipulate the situation too much, Taurus, um, to the point where it's just, you know, it's negative manipulation. Manifestation is nothing but manipulating energy, but. Uh, in the reverse, this is somebody who's just going overboard, you know. Uh, go with the flow. It looks really good. At the bottom of the deck, we have the hangman in reverse. So you're coming out of that stalemate of just letting the universe and life happen around you. You're um, jumping back into life and making things happen for yourself. Don't manipulate the energy too much, though. All right, I hope that this message resonated with you. If it did, like, share, comment, subscribe. It's much appreciated. Um, if you don't want to subscribe, at least click that like button, especially if it resonated with you, for you. Um, all of my information is below. If you need to get in contact with me to schedule a personal reading, okay, send me an email. Go over to my website. Um, um, you can reach me on Instago also. Taurus, know that I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well. I will see you in your September readings. Take care.